Hello, friends. Today we will learn about leaves. Look at these green spinach leaves. Wow, these mint leaves look so fresh. These goats are munching on tasty mulberry leaves. You are blanching the garden fresh spinach leaves in your kitchen. Have you even wondered where the plant kitchen is? Who prepares food for the plant? I will explain all about this today. Let's quickly see the structure of a leaf to better understand the whole process. A typical leaf consists of a petiole, a stalk connecting the leaf to the stem. Here is the lamina where photosynthesis occurs, and this one is the leaf base which attaches the petiole to the stem. The lamina contains the midrib and smaller veins for transportation. These pores are the stomata that control gas exchange and regulate water loss by opening and closing. A leaf is often called the food factory or kitchen of a plant. It simply means food for the plant is prepared in the leaves. Leaves require the ingredients chlorophyll, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to produce food for the plant. The process is called photosynthesis, through which food is produced. Plants spread out their leaves to capture energy giving sunlight. This energy is absorbed by pigments like chlorophyll molecules embedded in the plant cells. Chlorophyll is a natural pigment that gives plants their green color and is needed to absorb light energy for the food making process. Plants absorb water through their roots, precisely using root hairs to increase surface area. This water is transported to the leaf cells through xylem tissues, which is a network of veins. Plants open their microscopic opening stomata on the leaf surface to absorb carbon dioxide from the air. It provides the essential carbon atoms that plants use to build glucose sugar, which is their primary food source and energy. Within the leaf cells, light energy, water, and CO2 are combined through chemical reactions fueled by chlorophyll. This process produces glucose and oxygen. When plants need energy for things like growing new leaves or making seeds, they break down this stored starch into glucose, which then fuels the plant cells. Plants release oxygen into the air as a byproduct of photosynthesis. This oxygen is crucial for the survival of all living organisms, including humans. Here is the diagram of photosynthesis. You can use it in your assignments. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.